Hey everybody, uh, it's Lou here. First of all, I want to take the opportunity to wish everybody a happy new year and uh, we hope that 2012 uh, brings you everything that, that you need. Not everything that you want, but everything that you need. And uh, I know that Ivy and I are very, very excited about this upcoming year because it, it has a lot of things uh, in store for us and we're really looking forward to that. So happy new year. So we know it's been a while since we uploaded our last video and we promised that we're going to in the future upload them more frequently. In fact, this week we're probably gonna be uploading uh, two or three more. So stay tuned because uh, we're really excited about those two. Now, as all you guys know, uh, Ivy and I live uh, very far away from each other. Actually, she's in upstate Pennsylvania and I'm here in Mexico City. So what we wanted to do with this video is um, show you guys uh, where we live so you guys can see our, our our environment our immediate surroundings and get you know a better idea of of who we are and where we come from so come join us uh, on a tour and uh, let's go take a look at ivy's neck of the wood first in july of 2011 i moved from philly to upstate pennsylvania with my family leaving behind the hustle and bustle of the city was such a relief I didn't think I realized how consuming that environment really was. I've enjoyed my time up here. It's quiet, it's peaceful, and plenty of good old-fashioned hard work to do. My uncle has a farm, and from time to time we go down there to camp in the outback or just help out with his daily chores around the farm. My mom's house also has plenty of daily work to be done. Three acres is actually more to take care of than one would think. We spend most of the summer preparing for the winter, and we get to enjoy the cool summer nights on the patio or going to a small town function or a festival. Even though there's not much around here and all the stores roll up their carpets at 5 p.m. in most cases, the small town life is nice in the aspect of how much people do care about one another and the huge sense of community that is felt here. As for me, transitioning into off-grid, I think the only problems I will experience at first is not enjoying a hot shower after a hard day's work. I think that every day when I get in the shower, I say to myself, God, I'm gonna miss you, Mr. Shower. Other than that, I'm looking forward to building our home, growing our food, raising our animals for their various purposes. And I know it will take time before we are running comfortably, but you know, that will make us appreciate it even more once we create those conveniences again for ourselves. Mexico City is my hometown. As you probably know, it's one of the biggest cities in the world. The metro area itself is, is about 20 million people. Now that's a lot of people, and trust me, you feel the crowd. I mean, whether you're driving down the street, you're taking the bus, the subway, or a taxi, it, it doesn't really matter. This is a very crowded city. I have to confess to having a love-hate relationship with Mexico City. I mean, while there are many beautiful things about it in and of itself, there are many beautiful things to see, and a large percentage of my friends and family are here, uh, still the noise and the congestion can get to me rather quickly. I've noticed that more and more I find that I can only be in this city for a certain amount of time before it starts to really affect my stress levels. Now, I've moved around a lot during my lifetime. I've lived in several different places, and you know, I'm very fortunate for that. And I always find uh, that I wind up returning to Mexico City. Uh, each time I do, I feel like it's for a shorter and shorter period of time. And, and I know that this stage that I'm at right now will even be a very different one. Uh, this time, once I leave Mexico City, I get the feeling I'll, I'm not going to be returning for a long while. But to be honest, uh, I feel so completely ready to get away from this place and and together with Ivy begin our project in Virgin Land. I really need to get out of this city. Uh, I'm really looking forward to sweating under the sun in the middle of nowhere. You know, just me and Ivy for miles around. I mean, I love you Mexico City, but for now, we once again need to say goodbye. So now you guys have a good idea about where Lou and I are coming from, where we live what our environments are like, and you can see that we live everyday lives just like everyone else out there. We just want, kind of wanted to give you guys a view, so that way you guys can all see for yourself that these type of dreams are obtainable for yourself, if that's what you choose. Anyway, Lou and I would love to wish you guys all a wonderful 2012. We hope it brings you all a, the abundance of magic and mystery and love and happiness that this world has to offer, and make this an astounding year. Live out your dreams. Love you guys.